Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's review, we have another SH Figuarts. It's a Dragon Ball Z figure and it's Android 19. Another premium Bandai release, which is usually hit or miss. We've gotten some pretty good ones. We've also gotten some like real stinkers. So hopefully this is not a shitty one. Hopefully it's really good. So without any further ado, let's take this guy out the package and let's get a better look at him. Alright, so here he is out of the package onto the rotating platform and so far so good. I mean, I think that aesthetically it does look like Android 19. It's a little bit gappy like on the shoulders and a little bit within like the leg and thigh area. But I mean, hopefully it articulates well and you know, it still makes up for the lack of paint because that is one thing that also is a little bit glaring. It's a little plain. Like maybe a wash throughout all those ripples on the pants would have really helped. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the accessories and check out his articulation and stuff. So for accessories, besides the fisted hands that come included in the package, he does include these wide open like blasting hands. And then these other like more wide open with the fingers more splayed out blasting hands. And then some other blasted hands with the hands like the fingers touching. And then for the faces, he does include this like stern face. Looks pretty nice. And then he has this face where he's looking to the side here. Also looks very nice. Then he's got like this laughing face or like screaming maniacally type face. Also done very well. And he's got like this other like giggling or like smirking type expression. Also looks good. And then of course he's got the battle damage when Vegeta comes in and kicks his butt. So that looks really dope as well. And he also includes these broken arms after Vegeta kind of like rips them off. And then you can see like the exposed uh, brain, which looks pretty cool too. You can see a little bit of detail in there and not bad at all. I actually like the way that that looks. So good job with that. Uh, the extra faceplate included with Vegeta is here, and it looks very similar to the one that came on Vegeta. It's just like the eyes are more wide open, but he's screaming, and then like the, I guess like the expression is on the forehead is slightly changed, but it's not too different. So let me swap it out real quick so you guys could see the difference. So there it is. I mean, can you even tell that I changed the face? I'm not sure. Can you? It looks, it looks very, very similar. All right, so let's go over the articulation. The head can do a full 360, can look up a tiny bit, looks down a tiny bit, a little bit of neck movement and some slight side to side. Now the shoulder can do a full 360. It's a little tight. And then here they change the articulation. Now it's like on the bicep instead of on the shoulder. I guess they did that because it's so bulky around there. It also has a swivel here at the bicep and then a double hinge at the elbow. And we got um, wrist articulation, um, a butterfly joint as well. The chest can swivel side to side and has like a very, very like small amount of crunch to it. Kind of just looks gappy when you put it up and it doesn't go down too far. Now the legs don't kick up at all. That sucks. It just hits there and it doesn't do what you want it to. Side to side is also not great. This part right here, it just, you get that deep bend with like this, like layer type of articulation there, but it doesn't really work because the, the leg doesn't come out far enough. And then we got the toe hinge and the ankle swivel, but yeah, that articulation is a little rough. All right, for, so for size comparisons, here he is next to Vegeta. And I don't remember him being shorter than Vegeta. I honestly don't remember, so I guess this is accurate, though. I'd have to look that up. But Vegeta is supposed to be pretty short, so for him to be shorter is a little weird to me. And then here he is next to Goku, which Goku should definitely be taller than him, but I don't know if the size was this much of a differential i mean really i don't remember it's been a long time i'm gonna have to look up some images so maybe you guys could let me know in the comments 
So final thoughts on this figure. I think aesthetically it looks okay. The only problem is that the articulation is not functional at all. Which is a big letdown because a lot of people wanted this figure. You know, we wanted all the androids in the line. And it just sucks that he looks decent. But it's just like engineered so weirdly where the legs don't function. We have other characters in the line that function well with baggy pants. And we don't have that issue. They can kick out. Like Boo is an example of a fat character that can pose really well. And this guy is just like... He's small in comparison, and he just can't do much. Like, I'm surprised they couldn't figure something better out for his leg situation. So it's a bit of a letdown. Um, some paint would have definitely saved it a bit and helped, like, shading throughout, but it's not there. Um, overall, I still do like the figure. It's cool to have it in your collection. It looks pretty darn good. But if you're going to be trying to change up and, like, mix up his posing and stuff like that, it's pretty much not going to happen. You're going to have to find something that works and pretty much leave it like that. So, um, overall, um, I'm still happy to have it. I mean, I'm a completionist in this line. I do like the Dragon Ball Figuarts line a lot, but I am a bit disappointed as well. I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's not really trying to get every figure. It's not one of those ones that you're going to feel like you got your money's worth, like with Cooler or something like that, you know? Or like the new second form Frieza where you felt like, damn, this thing's dope. It feels like it's worth the money, you know? I can't say that it's the case for this one here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Um, it was a little lackluster, but so was the figure. So maybe when they give us a really dope figure, I'll give you guys a really dope review. So till then, take care. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Peace.